Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, some of you might wonder, why would I need an email client when the web interface is on more than enough for me? I like Gmail, I like Outlook.com, why would I need an email client? And I honestly have no answer for you. I prefer having an email client on my desktop and I suppose I'm not alone, so here we go, let's take a tour of email clients for elementary OS and Linux in general. First of course is Mail. This is elementary OS's default mail client. It is very simple and does only email, since this is the elementary way of making things with one app for each purpose, so you won't find any calendar, tasks or contact lists here. It still supports Pop and IMAP and you can pretty much add any account. It has a few features, but enough for most users. Support for archiving, a junk mail folder, the ability to preview your email in HTML or plain text, support for labels and multiple accounts. I use this one for all my email, which is not that much. Thunderbird. This one you probably know already. It used to be part of Mozilla's suite of applications and actually shares some code with older versions of Firefox. While the interface might not be up to elementary OS standards, it is still a very powerful email client with support for storing email, archiving and backup features, tags, a great search tool and the ability to create folders. You can also customize the layout to your liking with a preview pane on the right side, on the bottom or even with plugins. You can open new mails in tabs or in pop-up windows and it even supports developer tools to help you debug your email if you're a developer. It of course supports pop and IMAP. Thunderbird is a great choice for professional and personal email. Evolution Now if you're coming from the Windows world and are used to Outlook, this is the one you'll want. It might look a bit dated and out of place on elementary OS, but it is a really full-featured client. It can handle your email with support for Exchange, but your calendars as well, your contacts and even memos and notes. You've got a plethora of options to customize the way you want it to work, with support for custom fonts, signatures, spell checking, sender addresses. It can even have a different network configuration than what the rest of your system uses. For example, if you need to access your email through a proxy. Outlook users will be right at home here and it's geared toward professional. A web app. Ok, but still, why would you need an email client when Gmail, Outlook.com and other popular services provide a familiar and easy interface to handle email? Well, you don't have to, but it is still nice to have a nice shortcut to that interface outside of the browser, isn't it? In this case, why not creating a web app for your email? To do this, just open Epiphany on elementary OS and open your email. Click on the Options menu and select Save as Web Application. You'll get a nice browser window without the menus and tabs you don't need, and your web email client will behave just like a native app with support for desktop notifications if you enable them, a dock icon, an icon in the Applications menu, and so on. This, of course, works with any website, but it's a truly great choice for webmail clients. You can even customize the name and the icon you want to give to the app. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of email applications on elementary OS. Of course there are plenty more available, but these are the major contenders, from the better integrated mail to the full featured suite that is Evolution. I hope to see you guys in the next part of our guide and goodbye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!